ever been ghosted after a date? Let Cosmo and Cat call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. On the Cosmo and Cat Show. On the Silverball Arcade Bar hotline this morning is Clayton from Como. Good morning, Clayton. What's up with Stephanie, man? I don't know. I I can't believe I'm saying this, but she's ghosting me for, <laughs> for some reason. Oh, no. Well, tell us what happened. Yeah, we went on a date um, about two weeks ago, and I thought it went awesome. It seemed like it went pretty well. Um, I thought she had some fun, and she didn't really say anything that was, like, alarming or that there was a red flag. That's something that went wrong. Yeah. So what was the date? What did you guys do? We went uh, We went to the mall, and we went shopping. <laughs> really? Okay. People still do yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still do that. Okay, um, we're good. Shop nice. local. Yeah. Shop local. Go to the business. Yeah. And shop, shop, shop. So yeah, happened, I, mean, I, I mean, what were you saying? Oh, no. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we were just, you know, we walked around, did a little shopping, stopped and got some food, you know, nothing too crazy. Did you ride the nice carousel? Did you ride the carousel? <laughs> that, that, you know, that'd be kind of romantical, like you're at the Midway or the Carnival or something. <laughs> we did, but next, you, you, next time. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay, I thought you said you did. I was like, really? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Well, that sounds like super fun. And it's cool because you can just walk around and talk and get to know each other and stuff. And, right. No uh, pressure. That's what I like about it. Do, so it's not like awkward. Right. Well, how I mean, did y'all like, leave it? Yeah. So I walked her to her car and then I she gave me a hug and a kiss and I told her I'd give her a call. And she hasn't picked up for that call in the two weeks wow. since then. So she she gave you a kiss or you gave her a kiss? I, I, I want to make sure I heard that correct. No, she gave she gave me a kiss on the cheek. Okay. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we need an explanation of the kiss. Well like a play yeah. by play. <laughs> She's the so one she who gave kissed... you one on the cheek. <laughs> but she kissed him and then is ghosting him. Like why? What is up with that? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I had more info for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well sometimes just... things happen in life that, you know, yeah. I mean, maybe something, I hope not, but okay. maybe, you know, maybe something bad happened in her family. Well, or... let's let's call Stephanie and find out what the deal is and uh, see if we can get you guys back to another mall date and ride that carousel of love. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Such that a so dork. Dumb. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. This is the Cosmo and Cat Show. Ever been ghosted after a date? Let Cosmo and Cat call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. On the Cosmo and Cat Show. It's Cosmo, it's Cat. Uh, we just had uh, Clayton on the line and uh, he met up with Stephanie. They went shopping for their date. They went to the mall and uh, yeah. just kind of walked around. I mean, it's not a bad idea for I a date. I think it's cute. You kind of get yeah. to know each other, going into different stores and finding out about their personalities and different things. And Right. Um, but uh, she gave him a kiss in the car, in, uh, in the parking lot, as he walked into her car before they left, and now two weeks later, nothing. Yeah, like kissed him on the cheek. I yeah. mean, it wasn't a, come here, baby. Yeah. We're just going to have to ask her. Maybe That's... something's going on with her family, and it's got yeah. her tied okay. up or something. Okay, here we go. Let's call Steph. But neat. Hello? Hi, is this Stephanie? Who is calling? Hey, this is Kat, and um, I'm with the Y107 morning show, um, the Cosmo Cat show on the radio, and I wanted to see, okay. we've got a segment that we do about dating and, and relationships and stuff, and I wanted to see if you'd be all right coming on air with us for a few minutes to answer some questions about a date you went on. Um, okay. Okay, sure. Okay. All right. Well, th thank you. Hi, I'm Cosmo. Thank you for agreeing to, to come on our little reality show here. Yeah. Um, so you went shopping uh, on a date, right, with uh, Clayton? <laughs> remember remember Clayton? <laughs> why, why? Uh, uh -oh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I remember Clayton. Well, he said you haven't called back. Yeah, you know, everything, I mean, everything was fine. Just, you know, just some things don't work out, you know? This one some didn't. things don't work out. Okay. I need you to elaborate a little bit more on that. <laughs> spill, spill a little bit. Can you, can you tell us why it didn't work out? Um, sure. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, so he actually took me shopping, which was kind of fun and little like retro like type of date, which was which was fine or whatever. But we, uh, one of the stores we went into, he ended up buying a six pack of tidy whitey underwear. 
And it was a little strange. Oh. Okay. Tidy whitey. I mean, first it, yeah, it's, first it's weird that he, he'd buy underwear on the, the date at all. But then the fact that they were tidy whiteys, like I didn't know even grown men wore tidy whiteys anymore. I mean, I don't know. I just, it just turned me off and I don't know, just, it just was, I don't know. I didn't like it anymore. So that's, that's really, yeah. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, there are some, maybe it was a gift for his dad or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he just well, felt super weird, he comfortable explain. with you and was like, well, I need some underwear. We're well, here. Yeah, but, uh... yeah, I just, it was a turnoff and I just feel like, I just feel like men look ridiculous in those. I mean, I didn't know they even made them in man size. So, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, just, no thanks. Just decided it wasn't for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's bummed that you've been ghosting him and he wanted an explanation. So we tried to help him out with that. Stephanie Clayton is actually uh, here on the phone with us uh-huh. okay yeah are you cool talking with them i mean sure why not we've already aired everything else out i guess Clay- clayton your dirty laundry oh my god are you, are you <laughs> sorry there? cosmo rubs off on clean me sometimes. clean clayton. laundry it's the brand new <laughs> um hey well, you heard hey. you heard Stephanie. What what are you thinking, man? What's going through your mind? Um, I think you know, I bought them for my my grandfather. Um, they're not for me. Oh. Um, I don't wear tidy whities ever. I would never wear those. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, um, I mean, it's just weird that you chose our date to invest in your grandfather's tidy whities This is even weirder. I don't know. Like, this seems odd. So, I feel like you're lying. <sighs> Listen, I mean, my grandfather needs clean underwear, so that's why I bought them. You know? Totally was not something that I would ever wear, but, you know, I just, uh, while we're on the date, I figured I'd pick them up. Are you being for real, Clayton, well, I, or are yeah. you just trying to step and fetch and cover here? I'm sorry. I'm not yeah. trying to be mean or anything. But... Uh, fine. Fine. I wear tiny whiteies. I just thought, like, I could yes. try and cover up a little be bit. Be true to yourself, Clayton. Face. Be true to yourself. Well, it sounds like you're a liar and you wear tiny oh. whiteies. So I'm actually, oh. you know, even less interested. So. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. This is the Cosmo and Cat Show.